happy Sunday. As I prepared to do my yoga and meditation, I was reminded of a moment with my mom. So I'm sending this message to you from this house, the last place that she lived at, that she loved so much here in Southern France, and here is actually where she died as well. And the story today is uh, a moment that I had with her, a conversation that I had with her in Amsterdam in the mid 90s when I was still in the military. Actually, it was the early 90s. It was before the Gulf War. And it was around this time in my late 20s when I was still trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life because I hated my job. I did not like being in the military and I could not imagine me retiring from a job that I just, that made, that made me unhappy. So it was during that time that I had the bright idea to become an entertainer, a professional singer. Wow, it was such an epiphany. Why was it, epi why was it an epiphany? Because no one in my family ever encouraged me to become an artist or to study the arts in any way. It's amazing how when it's in our genes, we just sort of migrate right into what we're supposed to be doing, which is usually has been in your family for a long time. It's almost like, why is this even a surprise? <laughs> so when I shared with my mother prior to the conversation that I'd like to share with you today, that I had made this decision, she was very concerned, very worried, and uh, one could tell, I could tell that she was chewing on this, worrying about it, and wanted to really see how much I had actually thought this decision through. So on this day in Amsterdam, she sat me down in an attempt to see where I was with this. And the first thing she said was, they are going to expect you to sing protest songs. And I said, well, I'll sing your songs, mommy. I know them by heart, I love them, they speak volumes, and um, they're my brothers and sisters. She said, okay. And then she went on to, they, are going to expect you to play piano. And my answer was, well, mommy, I don't. But I'm confident enough in my voice and in my ability to be able to say that I think that by the time people get done hearing me share with them what my talent is, it won't matter. And the last thing she said was, after, of course, she just shook her head from that answer because <laughs> there was nothing she could say she um, followed up with well you're gonna have to work hard Lisa and I said well mommy one always has to work hard at anything no matter what they choose if they want to succeed and so she just <sighs> threw her hands up and put her hands on her hips and said, well, fine. <laughs> and as I look back at that moment with her, as you can see from my smile, I just am so grateful that she took that time because I've been in the business now for over 20 years and I understand far more what it was she was trying to say and trying to convey. At the same time, I'm really happy that I made the choice that I did and that I followed through with it and that I've learned what I've learned and uh, I can pass down my wisdom to my own children. So I just wanted to share that with you today on this Sunday in September 2021 from Southern France here at the home of my mom. And I wish you all a wonderful day from my heart to yours.